What's up, Internet? My name is Michael Cook, and this is Blue Giant Media. We're here to help you find, learn, and play the games that you love. Today, we're going to grab Gun Kimono by Jeffrey D. Allers, published by Renegade Game Studios. We're going to open it up, take a look at the components, the, the uh, art, the quality, and generally just what's in the box. All right. Gun Kimono is a game where you're going to be using these domino type pieces to kind of gain a little bit of area control but uh, really just setting up different uh, groupings of colors here and based off the groupings that you make you're either going to be able to score points or increase your honor which gives you other ways to score points uh, so you kind of every time you place them you take points either now or set yourself up to gain points in the long run. So, pretty interesting. Looking forward to getting into this a little bit more. The graphic design isn't, it doesn't grab me. Um, I feel like when you look at the board, it doesn't look like, oh, that's the kind of game that I want to play, me personally. Uh, it looks a little abstract. I like the theme. I love Japanese culture. Um, been to Japan before. Absolutely loved it. Speak a little Japanese. So I love the theme, but just the graphic design doesn't necessarily reach out and grab me. All right, so we have some pretty cool looking tokens here. I'll grab a sampling of each of them. So, these are going to be for the score markers. You can see they are different for each color, which is pretty cool. It's an, a thing that they don't have to do, but they did, and it's nice. And there's these fortresses, fortress pagoda type things, and you can see not only are they um, more than just a bland triangle or something like that. They even have a little bit of depth on the flat faces as well. Pretty evenly cut, pretty well painted. They are lightweight, but they are wood. And then, so these you're gonna use once you uh, build up your honor to a certain point. After you move all of your honor up and uh, up the track, you're going to be able to put them on the board, and that's going to be one of the ways you can score points every round. Then these are going to be, when you don't score victory points, you score the, those honor points. These are going to move up these tracks over here. There will be one for each color. Okay, and then there's a whole bunch of stuff to punch. And this is the first player marker. It is a pretty cool katana. So, <laughs> another thing that they don't have to do, but they did, and uh, the experience can be all that much better for it. It's a minor thing, but I like to say that uh, the little things add up. So let's take a second to punch this stuff out. All right, so we have, for each of the player colors, you're going to have a um, tile to represent who you are, and then you can flip it over for keeping track of your score. All of your wooden pieces for tracking on honor for each of the five different types of armies, two fortress fortresses, and your score marker. And then each one of them is going to get one of these to start the game, so I recommend getting one of each and putting it in a bag and that way each person who gets one of those bags to start the game to make setup go a little bit quicker because I am all about making that setup go a little bit quicker. All of the double sided, or not double sided, but double tiles, they can be mixed up and placed into the box. So however you like, mix them all up. Again, this is something that I would rather do um, every time I put the game away 
just to make setup for the game go that much faster. It might be worth mentioning that I am not the kind of person who stacks my games um, like this. I lay them horizontally, not vertically. For whatever that is worth. Okay, that looks good enough. And then we'll go ahead and put each one of the player components into a bag. And finally I'll take all of these and put them into a bag with that start player marker. And I'll place all of these there. I might want to rearrange these to make them lay a little bit flatter. And to prevent any of the little wooden tokens from digging into any of the cardboard tokens. Okay, I feel pretty good about that now. And the rule book, which I forgot to mention, is very nice to look at. And really, I mean, the individual art on each of these spots, I think, is very nice. It's just the... Yeah, I like the fact that each of the different um, types of armies has their own art. You know, you got the samurai, you have the archers, you've got infantrymen, swordmen. Uh, they all have their own art, which is nice. It's just... To me, the overall look of the board itself, that grid of squares, just, it's really bland. But other than that, I think everything looks really nice in the box. Quality of the components is very good. Now you know what's inside the box of Gun Kimono by Jeffrey D. Allers and published by Renegade Game Studios. If you have any questions about this game or any others, recommendations on videos that I should make, please let me know in the comments section. And if you look in the description section, you'll also find links to the setup and playthrough of Gun Kimono, as well as a review. You'll also find links to macronovagames.com where you can buy Gun Kimono and many other great games. I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see. And until next time, have a wonderful day.